Um, so I, I, yeah, like accountability, if it doesn't feel right, I reject it. A word only has as much power as value that you give to it. So like the more value you give to a prophetic word, the more you get from that prophetic word. Uh, Jesus said that if, if you honor a prophet, you receive the prophet's reward. What is the prophet's reward? The prophet's reward is revelation knowledge. If you receive a prophetic word, you receive the revelation that's carried in that word. But on the flip side, if you get a word that's bad, reject the word and you don't receive what the word carries. So like, I think part of why there's been a lot of like anxiety or fear on the prophetic is people see the prophetic as these perfect utterances. And like, this is, I mean, it, it makes sense, uh, but it's not. It's just little kids learning to hear the voice of their dad and we're super imperfect and we get it wrong. Like you will get it wrong. Um, a lot of my journey was I was raised as a Baptist. So I was told this is not from God. Tongues is not from God. God doesn't heal anymore. And I just was like, all right. The problem was, was I, was a, I, got, I became a drug addict, as some of you guys know. And I got off drugs. And once I got off drugs, I was clean. But I began to experience demonic forces that were very real. And I realized that the spirit realm is real whether I want to think it is or not. And I have to learn how to navigate this. Um, so <clears throat> all this stuff for me wasn't an interest. It wasn't something that I was just like curious about. It was like, I have to figure out how to deal with this world that I'm now awake to, or I'm going to kill me. Like it's going to kill me because of the stuff I came out of. And like just with the prophetic, for example, I went to this house in Garland really late at night and they had this little home group and they had what they called a hot chair. And I, I had no idea what this is. <laughs> and I saw this guy sit in the hot chair and these people stand around him and begin to prophesy over him and he starts weeping. And I, I felt it, like I felt this guy begin to get touched by God. And I was like, I don't know what this is, I don't even know if I want this. And they're like, do you wanna get in the chair? I'm like, it was almost like I, I couldn't not get in the chair. It was like God was like, I'm trying to give you a gift that you're not that you think you're not ready for, but it's time. And I sat down in this chair, and I had been off drugs for probably like three years, and um, I hadn't cried probably in like eight, probably five, five, six, seven, eight years, really. Like my my emotions were so locked up from the trauma I'd been through that I hadn't cried for years and years. And they began to prophesy over me, and I'm like, dude, I don't know if this is even real. These people began to prophesy to me, and it felt like I was hearing God speak to me. And I just began to weep, like the first time in probably like five years. And it impacted me so deeply that I was like, this has to be real. Um, then I was, and, 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 and I was like, well, maybe I can hear God. And I was like, God, give me a prophetic word for this lady over here. So I wrote down the prophetic word, what I felt, just like a sense. I didn't hear a thus saith the Lord. I, I, I've never actually heard God speak to me audibly. There are some people that ha hear the audible voice of God sometimes. I'm not one of them. Um, I'll, I'll get into more of the details of how the prophetic works in a sec. But, um, yeah, it just was like, I, it was like I, I knew God was speaking to me. And I just had this sense of, like, these words of encouragement for this lady. I write it all down. I go to the leader of the meeting. I'm like, hey, can I go give this to this lady? And she's like, yeah, go give it to her. I give this lady. And she's like, wow, this, like, encourages me so much. This blesses my heart so much. And so I'm in the Baptist church, and I start prophesying. And people start getting touched by God, and then I get baptized in the Holy Spirit. But the Baptist said the Holy Spirit's uh, the Baptist and the Holy Spirit's of the devil, and speaking in tongues of the devil. So I try to get rid of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Um, actually, what happened was I was reading the Bible, and I heard a voice inside of me say Lance, and I felt a finger with electricity touch the end of my tongue, and I heard words in my mind begin to speak a language I never heard before, and I begin to speak the words, and I be and I begin to weep. From the presence of God that came upon me mm. and I was like well this must be tongues mm. and I went to church and they're like no that's of the devil you know like that's not of God and so I tried to quit speaking it I was like okay this isn't God I don't want it and I tried to stop but it would I couldn't like it wouldn't go away <laughs> and one night I had this nightmare where I had, I had this dream of there's these demons attacking me in my sleep and I woke up and there were literally, I could feel the demons on me in my in, in the in the natural realm, in my room. 
and I and I had this like eruption, this volcanic eruption of tongues out of me. Mm. Uh, I woke up speaking in tongues, and all the demons fled out of my room like fire drove them out. <laughs> and I never doubted tongues again. Uh, same with prophetic. I tried to quit prophesying. I couldn't. I'm like, this has to be God. Um, the reason why I'm sharing this was I'm a Baptist. I'm doing street evangelism. I'm preaching the gospel. I'm prophesying. Um, but like, I'm, I, I was told the stuff wasn't real, but I saw the fruit of it, and I just couldn't deny. Mm -hmm. um, I made a lot of mistakes, I'll be honest. Like, there were people that I gave them bad words, and they came back later and like, dude, that word is bad. Like, that, that was super wrong. Mm -hmm. But I'd say that was probably like 10 to 20 percent when I started. Uh, now, it's super rare to get a, that I get a wrong word. I do get them, though. Like, I do miss it sometimes. And honestly, that's probably good because it keeps us humble. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone that says they get it right 100% of the time is probably deceived. Mm -hmm. So do you have a way of testing yourself? Like you get a word, you're not quite, it feels right, you feel it's from God. But you sometimes ask a question like, well, God, can you show me a sign that, some people do that. Yeah. Like a sign yeah. that that's to validate can you give me a word that this word yeah. is good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah I, so I was a businessman and I was super successful and I had a vision and Jesus told me to leave the business, to give up my inheritance and to go to China and then he told me what to do when I got to China. So that's a pretty big word, right? Like I better be right or I'm about to ruin my future. And God told me to give me golden fleeces. Give you what? Golden fleeces, like he gave you. Um, so what? golden fleeces. fleeces, like uh, like that, like a like, like a yeah. lambskin, okay. like a blanket kind of. Okay. And so what Gideon did was, God was like, yeah, I'm gonna put the. I think it was the Midianites. He's like, I'm gonna give the Midianites into your hand. And he's like, Lord, how do I know you're gonna do this? He's like, All right, so I'm gonna put this fleece out. And I can't remember if it was dry or it was wet, but it happened twice. And he was like, All right, I know this is God. So, so I was like, yeah, 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 there you go. One wet and then one dry, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Um, so the Lord said I could have two golden fleece, and I was like, all right, if you only go to China, then I want you to bring me for someone from the underground church of China. And I'd never met anybody from the underground church of China in my entire life. And two weeks later, we're in this little church in the middle of nowhere in Texas. And in an upper room in a church that's already hard to find that you can't get into because it's locked. And I'm about to help lead this church meeting. And guess who walks in the church door? A Bible teacher from the underground church of China. And that was my first confirmation of the Lord, like, this is me and you need to do it. Mm -hmm. So if you have a big word like that, you want to get confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. If it's if it's like one-on-one -on -one prophecy, it's like Is there anybody in your life that if they called you on the phone, you would know who it is without them telling you? Do you know anyone's voice so well that if they called you, you'd know who it was? Yes. Yeah. That's how we need to become like with God. Right. Yeah. You might not know them right away, but over time, you know. Yeah. If you're in a crowded room and your wife or your kid cries out to you, you will hear their voice above all the other voices. That's what God's voice is like. So at first... It might be hard to discern the voice of God, but as you train it, it's it better and better and better. Mm -hmm. When I first started giving prophetic words, I probably got one out of three wrong, to be honest. And people would tell me, and I'd be like, all right, cool. Um, you can actually train in the prophetic to learn when it's God and when it's you. Mm -hmm. um, that's some of what we're going to do tonight. Mm -hmm. I want you to say something about a bad word. And yeah. you said we have the decision if to receive it or not receive it. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you this, it's a bit complicated. I don't wanna put you on the spot, you know, I know you my friend, but I must ask it. Yeah. Before I came to America, there was this guy, he's like a well-known prophet, Benjamin, and he prayed only good things about me, that when I'm gonna come to the US, it's gonna be good, good, but then he started to be very emotional, almost crying, and he said, I see prosecution, I see you're gonna be prosecuted, I see, now, because I know this guy for a long time, he was in my baptism, he blew the shofar. I know him for years, so yeah. I could have said no to the prophecy, to, to his prophecy. I said, I will not get prosecuted, but I didn't. 
And when I came here, you saw that I was prosecuted, almost got out of my house because get out of the house, get out of because yeah. I haven't paid rent. And did I make this to myself by by receiving it, or did it was would have happened anyway, even if I say I flush it in the toilet yeah. or not flushing it in the toilet? Yeah. Did this prosecution because it did happen? I was prosecuted. Eventually, God saved me, but I was prosecuted for a few months. Yeah. So is it was me? That I didn't flesh it, or it was happen anyway. Yeah. So it was a predestined moment, or was it? Uh, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it was... Sorry, I didn't mean to. No, 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 no. I, this is this is a good question because uh, I think, like Pete's saying, a lot of people have had experiences with the prophetic where they got burned, and they're like, "I'm never doing that again." Mm -hmm. So this is a good example of what some people have been through. If I would, in general, say the New Testament says that prophecy is to edify, encourage, and exhort. Mm -hmm. Not prophesy bad things are going to happen. Okay. If you ever get a word that is like, this bad thing's going to happen in your future, I would generally reject it. 99% okay. of the time, it's not God. Okay. Like, if someone's like, I'll give you an example. This is one of the big ones that you will hear in prophetic with people that are kind of jacked up and they're learning. They'll be like, all right, yeah. Uh, I feel like God says you're going to go through this really, really dark time. It's going to be really hard, and you're going to lose everything. But then God's going to restore it all back to you a hundredfold. Yeah. Reject that. That's garbage. That's not God. It's not. Mm. Um, if you believe it, yeah, it can happen. 